stable marriage. Uh, let's look at part A. So in part A, you're given the preference lists for three men and three women, and you're asked whether the pairing uh, 1C, 2A, and 3B is stable. Uh, the only criteria uh, that you have to check for a pairing to be stable uh, is the lack of existence. So there should, there should be no rogue couple. If you remember, the definition of a rogue couple is a man and a woman who would basically ditch their current partners in order to be together. So the man should prefer to be with the woman over his current partner and the woman uh, should prefer the man over her current pr partner. So let's see here. Um, if, you look more if you look a little bit carefully, uh, you can see that uh, the pairing uh, 1C2A3B has two row couples. One of them is 1 and A. Why is 1 and A a row couple? Well, let's see. 1 is currently paired with C, right? But C in his preference list is here, which is below A, right? So 1 would ditch C in order to be with A. What about the other side? Where is, one, uh, where is the current partner of A in A's preference list? The current partner of A is 2 right which is here in a's preference list right so would a ditch two in order to be with one yes because one is above two in a's preference list so one and a is a row couple now if you look a little bit more carefully uh, you would find out another row couple too uh, which is the couple three and a Okay, so let's see if this couple is rogue. Would 3 ditch her, his current partner in order to be with A? Well, what is his current partner? Uh, 3 is matched with B, right? So uh, in his current preference list, B is located here and A is located above B. So 3 would ditch his current partner for A. Um, what about A? A's current partner is again 2 and 3 is located above 2 in A's preference list, right? So A would also ditch her current partner for 3. So this is also a row couple. So we have two row couples, both of which prove that uh, this pairing is not stable.